Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your rough reading. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, the Emperor. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, we have the Fool here. The red, so there is definitely someone here who's wanting to start with you brand new, okay? You have an opportunity to start something brand new with someone, okay? Or all over again on your own. You know, just by yourself. But I think with the fool here, there's an opportunity coming here where don't you don't need to think too much, okay? Just take a risk and take that leap of faith here. I think whoever's coming towards you is someone who's feeling very left out by you. Someone's feeling abandoned by you. They feel alienated by you, okay? And uh, someone here who you have a lot of love for. You have a lot of feelings for this person, but you're choosing to be deceptive, uh, deceptive about it. You're trying to run away from your feelings right now okay i think you're literally hiding your feelings keeping your mouth shut and just watching the show you're just watching for this person to come towards you because i feel you have a lot of trust issues with this person this person could be someone who could be very in and out of your life a very on and off connection right now with the ten of cups here i feel more than the current situation this is what your focus is okay you want a happily ever after okay you want emotional contentment here and uh, this is not only you but this is the person who you who you're dealing with who's on your mind this is what they want they want this emotional fulfillment, they want happiness, they want commitment, they want marriage, kids, okay? This is what they want with you. In the past year with the Six of Swords, I feel you moved away from a situation, okay? It was like a forced departure is what I'm getting. You didn't want to leave this person, you didn't want to leave this situation, but you just had to because it was just too stressful, okay? Uh, things were just too stressful. There was a lot of tension, a lot of conflicts, and things were just not getting better. And for you, the most, the best resolution or the only solution you could find was to move away from this person or uh, get that uh, physical or mental distance between you guys okay that's what you did someone put distance between you guys okay and this could be you this could be them someone moved away uh it's like wherever the wave takes them okay it's like whatever happens happens let's see i'll see where it goes but you made a decision to move away from this person in the near future we have the emperor here so now this is someone here who's taking control of the life or taking control of the situation here okay but we're gonna clarify let's see what is the fool what is the fool Yeah, someone wants commitment for sure now, okay? Now this person is seeing you. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. Wow. Not only is this, is this emotional fulfillment, but this is someone here who's thinking a lot about wanting to bring in stability, you know? Who's definitely now wanting to make family, marriage, commitment a priority. Yeah, Six of Wands here. Yeah, someone wants success with you, okay? Someone wants success with you. Someone wants to give a tag to this relationship, wants to put a label on this connection here. And with a hermit here, this is someone here, I feel, who's um, wanting to move in towards you very, very slow. You know, slow and steady wins the race is what this person's goal is, okay? But they're slow to commit, but they're wanting to come towards you. This is someone who's not going to give up on you. I think with a hermit here, this is someone who you're dealing with who likes to fly solo, okay? And this person, I feel, is... Uh, for the moment, I feel this is the kind of person who's coming towards you, who's wanting to come towards you. I feel for right now, for the moment here, this person is wanting to fly solo. They're in solitude right now, okay? Something, I think this breakup has caused this isolation, okay, for this person here. This person is longing for an emotional connection with you. But this person is definitely looking this as an opportunity, okay? Then this meditative energy, they could have gone within to find out the truth, okay? They're healing and are going within and they're trying to listen to their true self here. Yeah, this person needs time away. Either they're in isolation right now. You guys are not talking. I'm getting a strong no communication right now, okay? And uh, this is a good hermit energy okay because maybe sometimes you think this time apart is not really good for you but actually the cards are telling you that you really got to take this time for yourself okay someone's going within a lot of soul searching you know retreated etc i think you both went your own ways the, the six of swords here you moved away from this person whilst this person here went into the hermit mode okay and they completely isolated themselves wanting to think about something very practically and logically okay and um i think this person wants to come towards you with a leap of faith okay they want to take this risk and what they want with you is forward movement. Six of Swords in the past. Why is this here? We have the King of Swords. So yeah, 
you could have been dealing with someone who is an air sign of course libra gemini doesn't have to be but you could be dealing with someone who is not being logical or you were the logical one and you just stopped thinking from your emotions you had a lot of love for this person but it's like you were very straightforward and very honest and truthful about your communication with this person there was some truthful communication which came to light and which made you walk away from this person with the queen of wands or yeah see you walked away from someone who is very cold and detached and icy towards you three of wands here yeah because you gave up right you're looking the other way you turned your back to this situation here because either this person made you wait for a very long time okay and you wanted something more passionate you wanted something more stable something more secure was this person that you were dealing with right the kind of communication that this person did with you this is someone who's not being logical this was someone here you know this could be someone i'm getting who failed you okay or this person felt they failed you or you failed them whatever but you walked away from this person here because i'm getting someone here was too cold they refused to show their emotions to you although they had a lot of emotions for you and you just turned your back towards the situation maybe dealing with someone who was very defensive you know they had their guards up when dealing with you and the guards were up not because of what you did to them but it's probably because of their past hurt because of which they have this inner programming of wanting to defend themselves okay standing their ground and in which they have a tendency of pushing people away that are good for them okay 10 of cups in the current situation why is that what is this 10 of cups in the current situation i think this is your i think this could also be you are very emotionally content where you are right now or this is what you want let's see what's the 10 of cups here temperance okay your you probably moved away from the situation or right now i think there's a lot of, a lot of healing going on from your side taurus a lot of healing going on yes i think you would definitely want to reconcile give this person a second chance here or there's someone here who wants a reconciliation with you and wants the stand of cups with you let's see more cards here nine of swords someone stressing a lot about the situation stressing a lot okay but divine timing is at play taurus whether this is you who's stressing okay or this is this person here no matter how much you try to force something it will only work out at the time it is supposed to okay so things are pretty slow right now okay so you need to get used to the delays in this situation we need to let things be the way they are instead of forcing them pushing them okay or trying to get the outcome to control or trying to control the outcome here Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see, someone is in two minds out here. Okay, because they're stressing about the situation. I feel this is someone here that you're dealing with, who's wanting to come towards you, wanting to take this leap of faith with you. This person wants this end all be all with you. Okay, but this person here is not doing anything about the situation right now. Although yes, they are stressing. The Nine of Swords is the energy of where you know there's a lot of mental blocks that this person has. Okay, they're constantly probably regretting a lot. Okay, but this person is overthinking and they're thinking very negatively. You know, this is. someone you know suffering in silence they're not facing their fears they're not dealing with the situation head on instead they're suffering in silence okay and you're on their mind on a constant basis they're overthinking and which is as a result there's a lack of action here okay but with the temperance here this person is not doing things okay i think this person is wishing hoping praying that things will automatically turn in their favor and uh, probably they want me to message this person or they want uh, the universe to message the per other person saying oh like you know what i want or is toys will you come back to me they're not doing anything about it besides being indecisive they're doing nothing about it okay and stressing what's even worse okay they're stressing about this i feel this person feels that you won't take them back to us they feel they they want this with you but they're just not sure if you'll take them back because they're in two minds right now with the two of pentacles here you know not being able to make up their mind i don't think this person is weighing out the pros and cons i feel this person is not sure whether you'll accept them back this person could be someone who has a lot of fear of rejection which is why they're so stressed they're going through a lot of depression right now you may not know this you may not know this seven of swords is what your focus is is what's on your mind why is that what's the seven of swords here We have the six of cups for the hangman and the king of wands here. You're not going to make a move, Taurus. I don't think you're making a move towards this person. 
the chemistry is insane. We have the queen and king here, which is making it a true pair situation. You both are looking at each other. You walked away from the situation, but now you're like, you know what? I'm gonna stay the fuck away from you. You've been sneaky, you've been deceptive, you walked away in the past, you know, you were lying to me, you cheated, whatever have you, right? But I know what I feel for you, but I'm gonna keep my feelings to, them, to myself. You're in stealth mode right now. You're waiting for this person to come towards you and take action. Because this person was very passive in the past, okay? They weren't taking the lead role. They weren't leading the relationship. And all you're doing right now is the hangman. They're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. But this person is not doing anything because they're living in fear. You're not doing something about it because you want this person to step up, okay? You want, want this person to boss up and make a move, a, a move towards you. You try to see things from every angle here. But for right now, you're just surrendering, letting go of the situation. And the best thing that uh, when you're in this meditative energy, the only thing that you can think of is just hold back. Probably you're not even communicating with this person. You're not. This is a strong soulmate connection, okay? This is a very strong soulmate connection with the Six of Cups here. You feel the pull, they feel the pull, but they're living in fear and you're like hoping that they will take action or at least that's what you want. You're waiting for the right time probably. It's like you've surrendered to the universe, you have no expectations and you're just like, well, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Uh, tell me about the five of pentacles here. This is the root of the issue here. What's the five of pentacles here? Someone doesn't grow up, you know, is what I'm hearing. Someone doesn't grow up. You're dealing with someone with the five of pentacles here, you know, who who needs to grow the fuck up. You know, this person feels alienated. They feel ignored. They feel unloved. This is someone who has abandonment issues. Okay. But this person out here, uh, they need to do the inner work and be more resourceful in order to get themselves out of the pit. They've dug the spit for themselves, okay? They constantly feel, feel left out of the cold, okay? And uh, they're not uh, doing what it takes, okay, to get out of this codependent uh, mentality. They have a lack mentality, but it's not in real here, okay? They feel some kind of void here. Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. See, that's, what, that's what's going on. This person wants to come back to you, but they have fear of rejection. They have abandonment issues. They feel lonely. They miss the fuck out of you. They want a reconciliation with you, okay? And with the four of wands, this person's thinking long term with you. But with the queen of pentacles here, they see you as someone who's not giving a shit to them. See, they come towards you with that three of pentacles, three of cups energy, right? Which is more like, let's chill, let's hang out. I want to reconcile, right? But you're not looking for that bullshit here, you know? For you, the queen of pentacles, this person is seeing you as someone who's just completely withdrawn your energy. You're not investing into this person. You were once very invested into this person. But right now, you're very focused on your money, your goals, your everything else but that. Okay? They see you as working on your financial independence, okay? Or uh, you're just investing into yourself, but you're not nurturing and caring, this, caring for this connection right now. Yes, you are coming up as somewhat very selfish and greedy to this person, but yes, you're putting all your focus on yourself, okay? And not this person. You're not interested in a relationship with this person, at least for right now, which is making this person feel very, very insecure. Okay. Emperor, so we do see someone here who's coming in to take control of the situation in the near future here. What's the emperor? Who's the emperor in the near future? What's this emperor in the near future? Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Magician. Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords and the Magician here. This person is coming back towards you in the near future with the emperor here, okay? They're coming in, they're going to step up the game because this person is truly trying to manifest the situation with you, okay? This person is trying to manifest a brand new beginning with you, but this person is doing it very quietly. I think they're trying to run away from, from their emotions, okay? Or they try to run away from you, but they can't do it anymore. They're coming towards you with communication. But I think the moment you walk away from this person with the eight of cups here, I think you're giving up on this situation is what I'm getting. Probably you're walking away from this person in the near future, okay? The moment you do that, right, this person is coming towards you with the Knight of Swords here with communication because they want this beginning with you, okay? And this person hasn't stepped up all this while here, but 
the moment you disconnect yourself emotionally, you detach, that's when this manifestation will come clearly. Maybe you're manifesting this person. It could be anyone, okay? But I feel there's someone here who's taking control of the situation with the employee. This person's finally going to step up. They're going to bring stability to this situation, to this connection here. But for that, it's going to require you to walk away. And that's what you're doing in the near future. You're going to walk away from this situation. And the moment you walk away, that's when the communication is come, going to come in. This person, I mean, uh, you know, it, it, what happens is that sometimes when you literally walk away, when you let go of a situation, energetically the opposite person can feel that you've detached from them okay completely no i'm not talking about the ones where you try to fool the universe where you just block them but you keep secretly trying to watch them or trying to ask your friends about what they're doing and care to keep an eye on them that's not detaching that's you just fooling yourself no one else this is the card of emotionally cutting the cords okay completely emotionally cutting the cords just uh, wishing and praying that whatever happens is going to happen for the best if it's meant to be it's meant to be and the moment you do that that's when this person will rush in because then they're going to feel the pull you know they're not, they're going to feel that they can't let you get away okay and that's where they're going to rush in with communication yeah and that's when the manifestation is going to come into reality but with the emperor here this person is coming in in the near future and wanting to take control of the situation okay they will offer you stability security this person's dead serious about you okay but in order for you to do that you're going to have to detach from this energy right now Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. And if you want to uh, check out their thoughts, feelings, outcome in the extension, do link, uh, the link is below. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.